Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Let's take a look again at the euro currency. Well, yesterday that was a really tight trading range. So you can see that market has formed this inside candle of that one, the Friday trading session. And market, in fact, has touched the weekly pivot point and stands flat right below this area. But today you see that market has bounced up from this lower border of our uh, consolidation that we have discussed in our weekly research. We could, we uh, have called it as pennant that is forming right now, right under resistance area that is monthly pivot resistance one. And take a look, this red line, thin red line, is weekly pivot resistance one. So in general, you could see that uh, on the current week, weekly pivot support one, this green line, and weekly pivot resistance one uh, hold this consolidation between them. And well, yes, this price action, uh, although it doesn't quite see on the daily time frame, uh, but when we take a look at the intraday charts, we will see that uh, probably currently uh, it has more chances to continue move to the upside because the recent price action is not quite common for uh, bears development, uh, development especially uh, for the double top pattern that we have suggested could appear on hourly time frame. And uh, today you see that market price action stands very close to the MACD in indicator. So uh, during today's trading session, or maybe during probably during tomorrow trading session, if we will get the stop grabber bullish stop grabber pattern, it will definitely will tell us that these highs will be taken out by the price, and that will uh, be a nice uh, confirmation of possible acceleration right to the 134.30 area. That is the target of the ABCD pattern as well. But this is a bit um, future perspective. Now the 4 hour time frame and hourly time frame are most important for us because on the daily time frame you see that market still stands inside of the range although market currently have, has moved above the weekly pivot point and holds uh, above it right now. And on the hourly time frame, I'm oh sorry, on the four hour time frame, we see the same battery fly that is forming on the uh, uh, here with the targets around 134.45 approximately. So it's very close to the target of the ABCD pattern. You know all this uh, since we have um, talked about this in the weekly research. Now you can see that market has bounced up right from the 786 support that we also have discussed. That is very typical support area for the battery flies. Also take a look at the price section. Market stands flat. Trend holds bearish here. That's not very uh, difficult treated as the probably as the uh, bullish dynamic um, pressure, but some sort of the consolidation and uh, current breakout to the upside suggest that probably bears have no power to push market lower. Because take a look how it has happened. Here was some sort of the hammer pattern. It's not very good looking but still some long legged candle and take a look all the recent price action holds inside of the range of this candle so during this time investors are th thinking was indecision about further development on the market since that was really tight inside trading sessions side by side all the stand inside of the range of this candle. And now what we see? Market has come to decision, upward breakout, out of this consolidation. That is a bullish sign. Besides, when the market pushes uh, prices lower, then it's very rare or even never uh, shows some sort of the price action to the downside. So if this is the double top, this sideways consolidation is absolutely uh, unnatural for the current development. Usually when the market pushes prices lower to the neckline of the double top pattern, uh, that is already the starting of the bearish trend. That sort of the consolidation on the slope of the second top is absolutely um, 
unnatural for this pattern. That's why I suppose that the chances to see the upward continuation is a bit greater currently. But for the recent time market was shaken by a lot of different uh, news events so it's difficult to predict this for a significant perspective for the long-term perspective so mm, we will uh, discuss only the current situation so currently it looks like the upward continuation is uh, has more chances to happen well on the hourly time frame we see another details of the current price development so what do we see first of all take a look at the left side of this chart that was our diamond pattern that has triggered this upward move that was the consolidation and that was the resistance of this pattern so first touch second third market has accelerated returns right back tested it support here 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 and acceleration back up so we can see that this first consolidation holds the market from the downward continuation and forces it to create another sort of the consolidation right above it so that was first consolidation now we see second consolidation continue move to the upside this tells us that this area is significant support of the market and that price section in general as I said uh, not typical for bearish development so when the market starts move to the downside if we will, if we think that this is double tap it should be fast it should not be such pauses as we see currently uh, on the hourly time frame. That's why I suggest the market has more chances to continue move to the upside. Now let's return back to our trading plan. That was our stop grabber, as you remember, it's a bit sophisticated trading plan that we created for Monday. And we said that you need to watch for two possible scenarios. First, uh, not scenarios, events. First event is that market should hold above this low, 132.56. Okay that was completed. Second, wait for the trend when tr turn to the bullish side. That also has happened. Uh, I understand that probably you could treat it as the bearish dynamic pressure since trend holds bullish but price action stands flat. Well, you have the uh, foundation to think of this kind but you can see that this hasn't worked. And in general the market mechanics suggest that um, as I said it's very unnatural price action if bears are dominating over the market. Okay, let's assume that you have missed the entry inside of this consolidation. Now what do we have? We have the bullish trend on the daily time frame. We have the bullish trend on the hourly time frame. Market not ever bought. So probably uh, if you still have the bullish view on the market, you could stick with this recent thrust up and use the nearest support area to enter on the long side of the market. It's 133.35. Next area of support. 133.22, 133.28, that is the confluence support on hourly time frame. I suggest that market should uh, stay, remain above this area because if market will continue to move lower and will enter back again in this consolidation, that will not be very welcome for bullish development. I suppose that uh, since market already has tested the significant support, probably uh, it should show the very shallow pullbacks to the downside inside of this potential upward continuation. And that what I uh, prefer to see on the bullish development on the market. Any other uh, moves, some deeper retracements here will be not very welcome from the bullish perspective. Especially if market will return right back below this consolidation and continue move down. That will be um, more looks like the uh, bullish trap fake breakout of this range and downward continuation that will be absolutely not in a row with the bullish development but until now so we see as market accelerates further we have to keep an eye on these two levels to potential entry on the long side of the market